night again Still water and the birds don't sing Cold gin in the back room humming Medicating for the trouble that's coming From Bolton to Bangkok, the global pandemic has forced us all indoors with limited opportunities for vital social contact. The House of Mercy project has its origins in the first lockdown period when musician and photographer Phil Curry and artist and singer Jeannie Clark recorded their debut album at their kitchen table and released it online. One of the songs they recorded was House of Mercy, a powerful song written by Grammy-winning bluegrass and roots musician Sarah Jaroche. The idea then emerged to invite six dancers from Spain, France, India, Romania and the UK to devise a dance piece to the House of Mercy song. The principal intention was to explore how artists can remain creative despite being isolated and often with limited space and resources. The six dancers filmed their dance in their home environments using the space and light available and they sent it to Phil who made stills images from the video and also to me and I used screenshots as inspiration for paintings of the dancers. As the project progressed over the lockdown year, it went through a number of iterations as we discussed developments to the dance with the dancers via FaceTime and Zoom. And Turkish architect and video artist Chan Aksoy also joined us and he became editor of a documentary film of the project, as well as creating his own avant-garde dance film. Over the past year, we've created over 40 artworks and hundreds of photographs. For the documentary section, we also recorded interviews with the dancers where they describe how they personally dealt with the isolation of lockdown and how they developed their dance sequence. The House of Mercy project was originally actually never intended for an audience. It was an experiment to discover whether it was possible to maintain our respective artistic practices online and keep us all creative and connected, ready to re-enter a post-COVID world. However, the sheer body and quality of work produced has far exceeded all our expectations. So we now find ourselves with something which deserves to be seen by the very audience we were denied due to the pandemic in the first place. It's a document of creativity during a testing time for artists and creatives and a testament to international artistic collaboration. So our intention now is to curate both a virtual exhibition which will exist online as well as a physical exhibition once we're all able to travel more freely. And I can hear you knocking on the door I won't leave it open for you anymore I can hear you knocking on the door Knocking on the door of the house of mercy